this video we're going to do a quick tutorial on the SCSI SCSI to SD converters. I have a little makeshift 3D printed thing I bought there with mine. But I've noticed there's a lot of uh, questions as to how to get them to work exactly with MPC 2000 XLs. They definitely do work and it's confirmed on the website. But I myself was having a little bit of trouble figuring out exactly what you do and do not need. So that's what this video will help answer. And then I'll do some screenshots of the settings I use. That's actually probably the most important thing when you're configuring your board. But uh, you'll have more screws removed than I did. Be careful, as always, there is a shock hazard when you're getting in this. I just had my screws pre-removed. And you'll see that I have my card right here where the zip was in my MPC. And I ran the ribbon cable back through, watch out for the power supply, under this ribbon cable. And you can actually use the, the socket back there, so you just need this ribbon cable. I know a lot of people are using converters. There's many different slots you can plug into, but that's the one you're gonna need. The, uh, the tricky thing is getting under this is very difficult. If you're like me, you just took out the effects board, if you even have one, I'm sorry, the output board, and just unplugged the cable really quickly and plugged it in, plugged it back in. If you try to fish under this, you might rip it, and those are really sensitive uh, cables, so that's your choice. Just be really careful in this general area. Another thing is, even though you can clip these uh, SCSI cable pins in really quickly on the side clips, doesn't mean it's securely in there, in my case. I actually had to figure out for a while that uh, the reason it wasn't working is I didn't firmly, firmly press the cable down there. So make sure you do that when you're taking the time to do this. And as in the MPC manual, don't use a super long cable, but make sure you have one long enough to where you're not taking out other components. And if you have to unplug anything like the output board to do it, just do it, but be careful. So that's that internally. Um, if you're going to use one of these brackets, you, you might notice like mine, they don't really fit super flush, so I'm going to have to adjust that. And now let's take a look at the actual settings that I use to get this to work. Uh, one other thing I want to know is when you're setting up those boards, depending on which board you have, I have the, uh, the version 5 of the very popular one. You want to make sure you've upgraded the firmware, so download the program, upload the firmware, then plug into the front of your board. Don't plug into the front of the board and hit upgrade firmware. That won't work. And you really have to upgrade to the most or the latest firmware. Right now it's at 4.7 for this board. I'm not sure what it will be when you're looking at it or if you even have the same brand board, but that may be super relevant to you as well.